Okay, now, so something else um, that we need to understand so that we have a, a good concept of fractions is, you know, where they lie on a number line. Now, we've done this with whole numbers. So, for instance, if I wanted to um, show where the number 2 is on a number line, then I would put a little dot right here over the 2, and that gives us a, a, a visual idea of where exactly that number is in relation to other numbers around it. Well, we need to have the same concept for fractions. So, let's look at this first one, 1 half. I want to be able to visually look to see where one half is on this number line. So I can see kind of what's smaller than it, what's larger than it. Well, one half should lie directly between zero and one, because it is directly in the middle of those. So if I were going to plot that on a number line, I would plot it directly in the middle of zero and one. But now what about the number seven thirds? Seven-thirds is probably a little bit more difficult to think about. How about if we go ahead and simplify this? The problem is because it's an improper fraction. So if we were to actually do the division, seven divided by three, three would go into seven two times, two times three is six with one left over. So technically, seven-thirds could be rewritten as two and one-third. This is what's going to help us to be able to figure out where it is visually on the number line. Two and a third would be two whole ones and then part of another. So we would actually plot this point about a third of the way between two and three. And now we can see what's smaller than it and what's larger than it according to the number line. Now here we have one that's already given to us as a uh, mixed number. So again, if we want to show where 1 and 7 eighths is on the number line, that would be between 1 and 2, but 7 eighths is going to be much closer over here to 2. In fact, it's as if you were to mark this off into eight partitions, where would we plot that? And it would plot it very, very close over here to the 2. So 1 and 7 eighths would lie right about there.